What's up dudes? So as a follow-up to the needle review, uh, we're going to take a look at the scabbards for the book version needle and the show version. All right. This is no toy. Be careful you don't cut yourself. Okay, so the needle scabbard, this is the show version needle scabbard. Um, it's a very simple scabbard. Uh, kind of similar to how they made the uh, book version one. Um, it doesn't have any sort of a core, no wooden core or anything inside of it. It's literally just a, uh, just a, a, a leather sheet or leather scabbard. That's it. Um, it's got the one metal fitting on the bottom. Um, it's got a couple of D-rings coming off, a belt, and uh, it's actually really simple. Um, it's got a couple of little uh, flower designs riveted in. Um, and there's really not much to it. Um, now it, it does look really nice. It, it is a cool looking scabbard and I like it whenever Valyrian Steel does these type of scabbards that, that have the, uh, the belts and everything to them. Um, they did it with the, uh, with the, the long claw scabbard. Um, I think they did it with the, with the Rob sword. Um, unfortunately, I don't like either one of those swords. The swords are actually really bland and, yeah, I probably won't ever get them, unfortunately. Now, the, the book version of Long Claw is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I wish they had a scabbard for it. I totally get it. In a heartbeat. Uh, Rob Sword. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they do have a show version that I do like with a scabbard that has the full belt set up so at least I am going to be able to have one yeah, and I'm happy about that. The other cool thing is that uh, me and my wife we, we like to dress up for uh, the Renaissance Festival so if, uh, if she decides that she wants a little sword to carry along this will be perfect for her uh, or, or any woman, uh, girl, she's old enough um, but if a dude wants to wear it, then hey, more power to you, brother. Go ahead. So as part of a demonstration for putting the sword in the scabbard, um, one thing of note when you first get your scabbard, uh, you're going to have to run the sword in and out of it a few times to get the leather to stretch. It, Like I said, it does not have a wooden core. So it's just straight leather. If you have just straight leather, it's just like a baseball glove. You got to get it broke in. So um, in, in order to finally get my sword to finally go into the scabbard, it took, uh, I don't know, five or six times running it in and out, in and out, in and out. And you get a little further, a little further, and then finally I was able to get it all the way seated. And it's still a little tight. But it's leather, it's not going to hurt anything. There she goes. So, it's not going to hurt nothing. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're fighting to get it in there, it's just, just the way it is. And, uh, you know, but if you're just, if you're just mounting it uh, there next to the sword, it really doesn't matter. Um, if you want to wear it for cosplay or whatever, the uh, Renaissance Festival, whatnot, um, <laughs> you're, you're not exactly going to be quick on the draw if you're trying to pull it out or stick it back in. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. It, it came out really nice. It goes really well with the sword. Um, I really I really do enjoy this one. Uh, Valerian still did a, did a bang-up job on this guy. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what the sword and scabbard looks like once you have it, uh, once you have the belt put on. Uh, you saw it briefly there at the start of the video. And we'll go ahead and just put it on. Let's see how it goes on. It's not too complicated. 
and uh, you know it even fits the fat bastard like myself so if you're a little a little portly such as myself you'll uh, be quite happy to find out it'll fit and there it goes looking good oh yeah but like I said if you want to get your sword out real quick it's not going anywhere which I guess is good for Renaissance festivals because uh, at least the ones down the one down here in Texas everything has to be peace tied but if it's peace stuck you're good so let's take a look at the book version of the needle scabbard I will do my best not to go off on a tangent about this scabbard just because I think it looks god awful but it's not Valerian Steel's fault it is the way that it's described in the book so I blame George R.R. R. Martin yeah way to have bad taste George jeez but no it's a it's totally not up to you know Valerian Steel uh, George R.R. R. Martin is the one that approves the book version of the replicas that they make so you know this is what he thought it looked like and so it's what it is or we can blame Jon Snow I mean Jon Snow is the one that picked it out to give it to Arya so it, it's Jon Snow's fault yeah so um, much like the show version needle scabbard uh, this one is it's just straight up leather there's there's no kind of wooden core inside or anything. It's just, you know, nice and flimsy, just straight, straight up leather. Uh, even down on the bottom, uh, the show version, it's got like a little metal tip at the bottom. Uh, this one, it's just got another piece of leather uh, stitched to the bottom. That's it. Um, it's even got a couple of little leather uh, collars. Uh, affixed to the scabbard with D-rings with little straps to uh, allow you to hook it up to your belt. Um, the uh, There's really not any sort of design on this scabbard other than a couple of little wolf's heads on each one of these little uh, straps here. Um, and they don't look like what you're accustomed to seeing as far as like the wolf heads in the in the show um, it's really just kind of like a simple caveman style wolf head and you know it's actually kind of cool I kind of like it and similar to what y'all saw with the show version needle uh, I'm gonna stick this one in a scabbard just to kind of show you how it goes and um, you know just like the show version it it's uh it's just leather and it took a few times to get it to fit in there uh properly Jeez. Oh, okay so there we go all the way in and you know the show version needle looks very nice in its scabbard this one look at it it doesn't match Jeez. Yeah. But it's in there good. <laughs> yeah. Mounting any of these scabbards is fairly easily done. Um, if you don't actually want to have them mounted on the sword, uh, you can make use of the little L-shaped screws. Um, I've got plenty of pictures of various scabbards that I have set up using those little uh, L-shaped screws um, but you know these these scabbards are fairly lightweight um, so you know even if you don't aren't going through a stud or an anchor or anything like that you know you can just screw them in a drywall and they should be able to hold these things up all right so first off we're going to take a look at the show version get a close-up of the show version needle scabbard and as you can see, it's got a really nice uh, uh, brown and black texture finish on it. Um, just uh, like I said, nice simple scabbard. Uh, it's got this little 
uh, one of the leather straps. It's just a little braided leather strap coming off of it. It's got one D ring. So when this D ring, whenever you're messing with it, trying to get it originally set up, um, it go it sits horizontally like so. Uh, one of the far ends sits like this and then the other one has the strap running through the midsection okay. and uh, if you take another look at how it's set up whenever I'm actually wearing it uh, it'll give you another perspective of how it's supposed to look so so it comes off like that. Okay. So then there at the top, you've got a, another D ring with a strap coming off, and you can see the uh, the flower pattern on it. Uh, and those are actual uh, rivets, the little flowers that you see on it. Um. So you've got your scabbard, this, uh, well obviously you can see the buckle coming off of it. So th this will be on your left side with the scabbard, uh, and then the other strap coming off the braided section will uh, go around your waist and buckle in. And then at the end of that strap is this weird penis looking contraption what on earth was it jesus christ what on earth were you thinking anyways so going back to the scabbard yep there you go simple 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 and then there at the end you've got this little metal fitting and the scabbard is actually stitched up on one side so you can kind of see the stitching in there just running along the top here and that's that's about all there is of this guy let's have one more look see Yeah. And now we'll take a look at the book version scabbard. And as you can see, these are those little caveman looking uh, wolf head drawings on these little collars here. And that's really the only decoration that you'll see on this scabbard. That's it. And like I said, simple, just uh, leather scabbard. It's got these little collars coming off. Then you've got your straps for the uh, to attach your belt. A couple of D-rings on either side. There's a little bit longer one again for your belt. And just running the length of it. Uh, just a little leather tip. You can see it's st stitched on right there. And same thing. Simple leather fittings. Nothing, nothing too special, nothing fancy. And then on the flip side, the back side's kind of ugly because you know they didn't really cover up the the lines. Um, uh, on the on the other scabbard on the show version, it's nice and pretty and buttoned up real well. Uh, this one, mm, not so much. Pretty pretty fugly on the back side, so. Yeah, one big horrible nasty line running right down the center of it. Yeah, not much to say about that, but yeah, looks like somebody went in to get like a little minor surgery done and 
came out looking like they went through an autopsy. Yep, that's about the way it goes. So, but yeah, that's about it. So, obviously, you don't want to look at the back side. Look at that side. That's the pretty side. That's what you want to call it. Yep. And one more view. And shazam. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, both of these are still in stock. The show version of the needle scabbard is uh, going for $150. Um, there's still uh, it, it, it's an unlimited edition, so there'll be plenty to get. You get it, you know, as you see fit. They'll be pumping these out for a while. Needle is a very popular sword, so it goes to figure that the uh, the scabbard will be. Uh, pumped out just as long as the, the sword is. Um, the the book version, on the other hand, on the website it says that it is not a limited a limited edition. But you have to figure that the the book version of Needle was limited to 2,500 pieces. It wouldn't make sense to make more scabbards than swords. Because the hell are you going to use it for? So you have to assume that 2,500 pieces. If I'm wrong, then okay, fine, whatever. But uh, these, like I said, they're still still on the website. They're $130. Um, you can't buy needle anymore. You can't buy the, uh, the book version needle. Uh, it's it's been long gone sold out. But you know, if you happen to pick one up on eBay or Craigslist or some other third party site. Uh, you can always still get a brand new in-box book version of the scabbard to fit. Um, and of course, uh, needle for uh, for this scabbard, the show version needle. Um, it's uh, uh, unlimited. Uh, they're going to keep they're they're going to keep making those for ever, <laughs> more than likely. Um, so yeah, uh, you can get those just anytime you want. They'll be there. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, you know, throw them down below. Uh, I'll try and get to you whenever I can. And um, we'll see you on the next go-around. Take care.